Okay, so you've seen lots of videos about ChatGPT, how they talk with that with that chatbot, and maybe you think, okay, but how do we take that to the the real world? Well, we, we have already seen that we can ask questions and answers. Good, that's very good. Uh, but there's still something much, much better, which is the to integrate it in an automated workflow. I'll save this. Okay. It's not moving. Why well, is not moving? Anyway. Um, and then let's go to ChatGPT. Now there is no other option. We need to go to ChatGPT. Okay. ChatGPT, you should see something like this. And go to your account. And click on settings. Settings. Mm, show. Settings. What's wrong? System dark. Data control show. What is this? Confirm export. I'm not sure why. I'm, I don't. I'm not sure why. I'm getting these questions. Mm. Yeah, it's not in the chat. It's in the. You need to come up here and write down platform. Dot openai.com. Yeah, I was going in the wrong to the wrong URL. Login. Yeah, now I'm logged in. Platform.openai.com. Okay, I was in the wrong place. And then we need to go to our account here up on the right. And we need to select the option of view API keys. View API keys. Okay, personal view API keys. And here we can see all our API keys. And then you will see nothing because you have not created any. And you need to click on click create new secret key. Create new secret key and I will call it Udemy English Tutorial create secret key and this is the token of course this token is very private very secret please never let anybody to watch it i'm letting you watch this uh, token because uh, by the time you watch this video it will be everything deleted so don't even try to to do anything because there will be no token okay i copy the token and i paste oh i didn't copy it one moment Oh, oh, you can only, if you didn't get it at the first time, you have to create a new one. Well, I'll create a new one. I'll delete the, this token, remove, I'll create it again. And this time I'll make sure I copy it. Udemy test English tutorial. Now I copy it. Yes, now it's copied and I paste it for now. I'll leave it here. Yes, done, great. Now I have the, the API key. Then we come back here and there is a node called OpenAI. Consumes the OpenAI, uh, yeah. And here we need to create a credential. I will create a new credential. These are the old ones, of course. Create new credential. And this time is a lot easier, fortunately for us. It's not as complicated as creating the Google Cloud credentials. I just have to copy the API key and the organization ID that we can find it in the organization ID where it was this, I don't remember. Personal, I think it was manage account. Yeah, this organization ID, okay? Personal manage account organization ID. Get this ID and paste it here save yeah connection successfully great it works the connection so we select that i didn't give it a name i didn't give it a name and i don't like it so i'll create i'll make it again it doesn't matter i'll create a new new credential credentials i save this workflow 
new credential, open AI, continue, and I repeat the process, no problem. Great. And now the name will be OpenAI Udemy English Course. Save. Yeah, it works. It's a lot. In, in fact, most of the credentials of the, the many APIs are like that. The, the, the Google Cloud is much more difficult because they're Google. They want to make it very, very secure. But the majority of, the, of uh, nodes and credentials are configured like you saw, one minute. Um, we come here and I select the last, yeah, you me English. Okay, what do I want to perform? So in the previous node, I was getting the um, JSON text. So I want to say, could you please return me the data of this invoice in JSON format? Two dots and here the expression of sorry expression curly braces and json dot text yeah yeah let's see what happens i execute the note i perhaps get an error it says it was too many requests from you <laughs> you're seeing too many requests these things happen if especially if you don't have the the um, the paid version right and also i'll do something uh, because here in options select number of tokens okay and um, token is approximately a word so um, if this is very small you will receive a very small answer so make this much larger of course if you make it larger the date that we have to pay you will have to pay more because you are asking for more computing resources but um, that day we will see what happens and, and uh, you will need to calculate if it's more efficient to pay the few cents that costs the, the computing which i'm sure will be much cheaper than the manual operate operation of doing it with a worker and the salary i'll try again this service is too many requests from you. Perhaps take a break. Okay, I'll wait a bit because this is, um, they're not letting me to ask so many times for the same thing. I'll try with the, to, to get this text. If I go, if I make this bigger, this is the text I am sending, okay? Yeah, this is the text, I will copy it. And I will go directly to chat open AI to see if uh, to prepare the prompt to see if the prompt is correct or not. And it's in Spanish, so I should send it in Spanish probably. Yeah, but let's see invoice date is correct. Yeah, it's, it's correct. Total amount 208 euros. Yeah, okay, I'll be more specific and I will tell him exactly, I will tell the, exactly the JSON format that I, that I expect, but this, this looks promising. It's understanding all, think, I mean, this is crazy. Think about it. it it's receiving a, a, an order, human order, it's receiving some data and uh, it's understanding what, uh, interpreting the text and I don't know how, but it's um, uh, returning me you see amount, description, Oof. VAT, there is no VAT in this invoice. Yeah, there is no VAT. Look at this. Great. Um, well, if this is not working yet, from here, I will stop, go for lunch and try later because uh, they are blocking me for some reason. So, but at least the, the prompt looks very promising because i'm receiving everything okay let's uh, i'll stop for a while <laughs> 